23 September 2017. Like I said last time, I wanted to bitch a little bit about, uh, rant a little bit, uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. I want to rant a little bit about General Grievous and the fact that they're always calling him a coward on Clone Wars. I was watching that. It bothers me. It's part of something that a larger thing that does bother me about calling someone a coward just because their tactics are effective. That doesn't make them cowardly, it makes them more intelligent than you are. Anyway, similar with Grievous. For whatever reason, and I'm not going to get into his history, there are far, far better sites and more expertise than me out there if you want, if you like Grievous. Um, in the future, I'll try and find some links and throw them up there to some of the sites to talk about things like that. Anyway, he is fighting Jedi. These things have supernatural abilities. They literally have reflexes so fast that they're precognitive. They know about things before they're going to happen. They have telekinesis. They can get into your brain. Again, literally, not, physically, not figuratively, they can actually telepathically influence you. For all those reasons, they have to be fought in a controlled manner on a prepared battlefield. And that's what he does over and over again. As soon as he loses that prepared battlefield, like an intelligent person fighting a superior opponent, he gets out of there. If you're fighting a grizzly bear and you drop your gun, you don't go try and wrestle the thing. That's not bravery, that's stupidity, and it's not cowardly to make a retreat in a no-win situation. It's intelligence. That's how brave, that, there are no old, bold warriors. There are successful warriors, and there are stupid warriors, and that's the difference. Grievous is successful for most of what he does. Through we see him all the way up through the uh, Revenge of the Sith. Obviously, he dies. Aside from that, he carefully and cunningly hunts down Jedi and wins. The general rule in the galaxy: what everybody believes, you cannot defeat a Jedi, and yet he does so over and over again by planning better than they do. And yes, of course he doesn't hesitate to sacrifice droid troops. They're robots. The whole reason that you have robotic troops is so that they're disposable. So you don't have to worry or feel bad when they start dying wholesale. It's like worrying about, uh, it's like worrying about the bullets that are coming out of your machine gun. You don't care what happens to the bullets. They're there for a job. And if you have to sacrifice those bullets to do the job, which you do, you do so. Anyway, that's the rant for today, and I'll catch you later. TTFN.